Hi, authors. It's Dr. Judith Bryles, your book shepherd, and I've got a question um, for you. Do you know that if you want your libraries to carry your books, you really should have the LCCN, the Library of Congress number? And did you know that if you apply for it after your book is published and available, you can't get it? So let's not go down that road. You should have an LCCN, and you can usually start the process to get the pre-assigned number, which as soon as your book is published, automatically converts, it's going to be the same number, to the LCCN, the Library of Congress number. Um, and this is, the PCCN stands for Pre-Assigned Control Number Program. Now, it is, there's a process to go to, and there's a couple of parts to it, and a lot of authors kind of make a mistake here thinking, well, I applied for it, but a lot of times you have to apply to do the applying, and they okay you to do the applying, and then you have to go do it again. So, one of the things that I would recommend to all of you is to, um, on my website, actually, thebookshepherd.com, there is either under resources, or you'll find it right on top of the home page, grab your LCCN, grab it, and I will, you'll get downloaded very quickly, uh, detailed with images, step by step by step by step, how to do it. Or, if you want to go to <clears throat> the Google, and you put in um, how to apply for pre-assigned control number program, um, then that will come up and you can go through those processes on you on your own. But get it, get it. Every book should have an LCCN. This is Judith Riles. Make sure you listen. Make sure you listen to my podcast, Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing, over 500 episodes. Um, and you can click right here on YouTube. And we are now loading them into there. And also subscribe for my short Friday newsletter. Um, and you can again get that on my homepage at thebookshepherd.com. Or heck, you can just uh, go to paper.li forward slash Judith Bryles. And lastly, do follow me on Twitter at mybookshepherd. See you next time.